In the last segment, I covered a story about how every business needs you. My name is Al Green. I've been a sales coach for many, many years. And I want to bring to you, through my system, a way for anybody to go into sales or an existing salesperson on how to boost their sales. My workshop is free. It's called Six Figure Selling System. And I encourage you to hit the link and subscribe for notifications and also join me in my workshop. It's free and it'll explain to you what we're doing. We cover all different industries. One of the things that's important is to note that one of the easiest things you can do is get a sales job. It's so easy. It's ridiculous. I myself have done it many times. It helps if you read any kind of sales book that there is, anything at all, because you'll get ideas. A lot of people say, but I'm not creative. I can't think of creative ways to do it. You can use the ideas that are put out there by many of the books. And there's so many books you can get. If you contact me, I will give you a list of so many books that give you ideas. But I read a book years ago where one of the techniques was to go to your prospect that you want to sell to, or basically in this case, it was to to sell a contract so that I could be working for this company for a period of time. And it was a very lucrative contract and it worked. And what I did was I sent out a series of envelopes that had nothing in them, directed directly to the CEO with my name on each envelope. And inside of an envelope, I put in a coin envelope and wrote my name on it and there was nothing inside of it and I sent these out an average of one a day for about two weeks. This is kind of crazy but this is such a what we used to call a hokey way of doing things and yet I thought I'd give it a try because I was out of ideas but it worked and I got a call from the CEO saying I think we should meet for lunch because I am so curious why are you sending me these empty envelopes and I said the corniest thing the the creative creativity is like not even there it was so stupid it was like okay I said to him what's inside the envelopes when you open them up and he said nothing and I said exactly and he goes why would you send me a bunch of envelopes full of nothing and I said to him that's exactly what you're going to get if you don't take my contract. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill those envelopes with cash when you will see it. So I think we need to have a meeting and talk about getting me started. And I took the bull by the horns because I read this from a book. And believe it or not, he agreed. And I ended up taking one of the most lucrative contracts where I made them the most money they had ever seen. Now, it wasn't because I was doing anything different. I was following all the steps in a sales book on how to sell. And you can get a lot of ideas from books. You can get a lot of ideas from seminars and trainings. And one of the things that I cover, it's not one thing, it's a lot of things, but what I cover in the workshop is all of the different businesses. It doesn't matter what business that you want to go into. If you have an expertise or a love for something, I don't care if it's musical instruments or if it's clothes, or sports or anything it's easy to get a job in sales representing a company the way i did it again i read this out of a book was i basically went to the person in charge of sales i bypassed hr and i went directly to the person in sales and i asked if i could make an appointment and basically what what happened was i got a lot of questions is why do you want to meet with this person in person and i didn't say because i want a job I said, because I want to talk about uh, a a contract with you guys that you're working on, which is they were hiring salespeople. So I sat with the guy and I said, look, it's very simple. How many of your products do I have to sell so I could get one for myself? I could do that if I was selling cars or anything. doesn't matter what it is. If I was selling tennis rackets or tennis supplies, whatever, or, or sports supplies, golf, How many would I have to sell to get one for me? How many memberships would I have to sell in your golf club in order to get a free membership? You're probably going to get somebody that's going to want to listen to you. Several times, several times I had companies, I was trying this out, that said, let's talk. I think I might have a position. Are you interested in selling? And I said, yes, I am interested in selling. And sure enough, I ended up with a very interesting job where I made a lot of money. And I tried this many times. There was a a, a manufacturer of musical instruments that came up with a brand new electronic instrument that I thought would be really cool to own. But they were like $5,000 at a time when that was a real chunk of change to spend on something like an electronic keyboard. But I went to the owner 
And I said, can you give me a demonstration of this? And of course, he thought I was buying. So he showed me this and I said, these are cool. After the demonstration, I said, how many of these would I have to sell in order to get one for myself? He immediately looked at me and said, are you interested in working in sales? And it's that simple. I want you to join me in my workshop. It's free. It's called Six Figure Selling System. And if you click on the link below, you can join, register, and I will go over this with you and I'll be here to answer questions. And I personally consult with all of the people who sign up in my workshop. So you get one-on-one -on -one consultation as well. The name again is Al Green and I will talk to you. Please sign up and I'll talk to you then.